In this video, we will be studying about some other animals and their fooding habits like your scavengers and parasites. We have divided carnivores and omnivores animals as scavengers and parasites. Right? Now, what are scavengers? See, scavengers, the main property of these scavengers are that they help the environment to clean as they consume the dead bodies of the animals. So, scavengers, they consume the dead bodies of the animals and helps to keep the surroundings clean. They keep your surroundings very clean just because they eat up or they, they consume the dead bodies of the animals. These are your crow, jackals, then vultures, Hinds. All these are the scavengers. Now, what are parasites? See, parasites are they are small animals, very small animals. Like if I say mosquito, these are the insects or the animals. You can say leeches, bugs, round worms, tape worms, hook worms. All these worms. All these are dependent on some other living animal for their food. So parasites are small animals that depend on other living animals for their food. If I talk about mosquitoes, then they do not have teeth. So mo mosquitoes actually suck the blood. So instead of teeth, they have long, sharp, pipe to pierce the skin and suck the blood. We all know how mosquito bites. Like now mosquito does not eat you with the teeth. It has a strong shaped pipe which goes in your skin. It pierces the skin and they suck the blood out of your skin. If I say about the worms like your tape worms and then round worms, hook worms, these are present inside the bodies of the animals. They live inside the body of animals and eat the food after it has been digested. By the animals. You might have heard that small children have worms in their stomach. And due to this, they are not able to grow. What these worms inside your stomach do, they, as your stomach digests the food, they eat all the food and you do not get a proper nutrients. You do not get a balanced diet and which uh, affects your growth. So these parasites are the small animals that depend upon the other animals for their food. I hope you have understood this. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.